Patton, down, down, Patton, plots, plots, Patton, down. All right, come on, buddy. Come on. What are you doing? Good down, free dog. Good job. Come on over here, pal. Patton. Good boy, free dog. That's a good job, pal. What are you doing? Free dog. <laughs> all right, buddy, all done. All done. So I see it's only the down command, guys. I get it. It's only the down. But if you saw when he first got here, he refused to go down. And I've said it a thousand times. When a dog gets here and refuses to go down easily, I back off, I don't force it. It's not important to me. But I can guarantee you, when I go back to it five or six days later, after that relationship and that trust is there, then we become a team. I'm the captain of that team. He is going to give me what I want every single time with heart and soul. That's dog training. That's why we call it dog training, not dog forcing. That simple. Don't be so quick to force your dog into positions. If he won't go into the down, he's trying to tell you something. Give it time. I've shown it over and over and over again. Down will quickly become their strongest position. I promise you. I promise you it's like that with every dog. So don't force it, okay? Be patient, teach the dog, become a team, be that captain. He'll trust you and love you for it. What are you doing, Bubba? What are you doing, you silly boy? What are you doing? Come here, over here. Heel. Yes, good boy, Patton. Good job. All right. Over here, come here. Over here. Come here. Patton, heel. Yes, there we go. Getting that nice little booty flip. We're starting to get it, boom. This is his third week here. So now we're just starting to work on some fun stuff. So yesterday I introduced him how to come into the heel position and we're just starting. But you see how I'm starting to get that little booty pop? Yeah, I like the booty pop, you know I do. Come here. You Come here, you dirty little boy. Patton, heel. Ah, oh, come on, ta ta. Yes, good boy. Oh, oh. Hope I didn't destroy the sound. I hate all this technical stuff. We got poop while we're filming. If I can hold it, you can, buddy. All right, Patton, let's go, come. Come on, buddy, heel, heel, heel. Oh, come on, good, yes, good boy. All right, come here. Come here, handsome boy, over here. All right, Patton, down. Good. Heel. Yes, good boy. Now it's just repetitions, giving him the command and then luring him into position for now, you know? And then I'll start working on more of that booty pop later on. Come on, Patton. Patton, heel. No, 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 you gotta come all the way back, buddy. Heel. Ah, yes, good boy. You're a good boy. All right, Patton, come here. Spread them. Yes, good boy. Just fun stuff now. So in his third week, all the basics, the down, the sit, the come, the place, the walk nicely on a leash, we're doing the bite work, Oh, he's, he's up on the crate top. He's like, okay, I come up here, cool things happen. Um, that's real solid, real solid. Now I start giving him a break this week and letting him take a rest from all the basics. And for this third week before I bring him home, um, we do a lot of fun things. And in my opinion, that helps the learning and everything else a great deal. It, it just does. And that that comes from my experience. I know you guys can't see him, but he's standing on top of the crate top looking at me like, dude, when I come up here, good things happen, you know? Come here, buddy. Come here, Patton. Let's go. Come. Spread them. Yes. Don't knock the wall down, homeboy. Don't knock the wall down, homeboy. All right. One more time. Spread them. You gotta touch the wall. Yeah. No, no, no. Come here. You gotta calm down. Spread them. 
Yes. Good. So see when he gets jacked up and he can't function, just slow him down, show him what you want. And that's just a fun thing, you know? But that's just to allow the dog to have fun, teach him some new cool things that his owners can have fun with. We done for now? We done from now, homeboy? Yeah, I know, oh, man. <laughs> I love this dog. I'm crazy about this dog, and I'm going to miss him. But when I take him back to his owners now, after the three weeks is up, I'd keep him longer, but I'm leaving for Australia for a couple of weeks. So when I send him back to his owners, I'm going to spend a few hours with them at the drop-off. And then in a few weeks when I get back from Australia, that's just the beginning. Now I will continue to work with him a lot until he really is where we need him to be as he's growing. He's nine months old, okay? So I can't just pass him off to the owners and say, here's the commands, thank you very much. It doesn't work that way. So. I am their dog trainer for the life of the dog as long as they want me. And that's everybody that I do a board and train for. That's how I do things. I am their trainer for the life of the dog as long as they want me. And, and that means you have to build really strong relationships with people, you know. But people pay me a lot of money to train a dog and I don't take it lightly. So I'm going to give them everything I have, you know, that, that's all there is to it. Plus, I'd be sick not seeing this dog anymore. I think someone's got to make it the caca. Good boy. But see, now we're just starting some fun stuff. That's it. A couple minutes. We done. Peace out.